Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Planning with Penguins. I am doing a plan with me today, and this is my week from like this week, last week, um, depending on when you're watching this video, the week of April 4th to the 10th, and this is kind of what I had going on here. It was a planner spread from Oh Hello Stationery Co. But I am doing this kind of early because I want you guys to be able to see this spread before next week's because it is very themed on something that is going on next week which is a big movie release day it's a big disney movie release day of the jungle book so my theme for this week is all jungle book so this is going to be the week of april 11th to april i want to say the 17th this is how i pre-plan my weeks if you've never watched a plan with me i only have one other one but I use a sheet like this to pre-plan. I don't have a lot on there yet, like my work schedules and stuff. I typically know how that stuff shakes out, but I don't have it written down yet because I really just don't know for sure exactly what's going on. So I have mostly just my podcast related things and then a couple of work things written down. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out of here. So I use these sheets that I got from Target because they, have the whole week all on one page instead of a bunch of sticky notes. So let's go through what I'm going to be using for this particular plan with me. I am using stickers from a, a set from a company called Pretty Sheepy. So this is the sticker set here, the weekly sampler, um, the Jungle Book Deco, and she actually modeled these after the live action Jungle Book, so she ins it was inspired by that. The full decorative boxes, the headers and half boxes, and some appointment labels. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I'm back. Um, so let's see, where were we? There's the half boxes and the headers, the heart check boxes, which I actually really like the design of these instead of them being ombre. I like that. And then a sheet with a bunch of flags, mini flags, washi strips, another weekend banner icons. Like this is just a perfect kit for me because it has everything that I would really need. Um, there's even stuff in here I probably won't need as much. So we'll just see how it goes, how it kind of shakes down. I don't have any extra washi that I'm using or anything. I'm gonna try to use exclusively that kit. I do have a couple of little extra things. I might use stuff from her sampler right here, the Pretty Sheepy sampler. I'm going to be using her Pretty Sheepy Mickey countdown stickers because we are on a countdown to our Disney vacation in June for a week. So I will be using these. And then I have some little cat litter box stickers from Oh Hello Stationery Co. I use those all the time. I use one every week. And then from Sweet Kawaii Design, her Celebrate the Day April stickers because there's a couple that fall, actually three that fall during this week. So I'll be using these as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, I really only know a few things that are going on, so I'm just gonna kind of pre-plan for that. So let's see, I'm going to take the Jungle Book like snake washi that she has here, and I'm going to use that first. I'm actually going to use it here, like right in the middle of this at the bottom, this is typically where I put our work schedules that we have um, because my husband and I both have two jobs and so I put like our work time schedules and stuff down here at the bottom and I usually split it like him and me. So let's just go ahead and get that done here and then get this other side. I typically split it just like right in the middle to the best of my ability and I like the fact that she has this washi to go with that matches completely because the whole rest of the spread is gonna be completely Jungle Book themed, so it only makes sense. There's this one extra little piece, and I think that that is to cover, like to do in your sidebar. So I'm actually going to put it down here at the bottom to cover up the teal because we really won't be seeing a whole lot of that teal in the um, in the spread because it's gonna get covered up for the most part. So, okay, so there is that. So let's go ahead and do some headers now. 
Uh, I almost always have a to-do list on every day and I usually have my customized headers for my blogging and podcasting, but this week I'm going to try it a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and real quickly, I'm going to lay down all of my to-do headers. So I'll let you guys just kind of watch me do that really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so there are my to-do headers, so now I'm going to kind of wait and figure out what I want to do for Saturday and Sunday, but first off, there are those. Now, like I said, I do blogging and podcasting stuff, so usually I have custom blog and podcast headers. So what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to alternate. I'm going to put today's and little things headers down. Alright, so now I'm going to take the weekly sampler that I have here and I'm actually going to take this box right here that says the Jungle Book. It's a full box, but it says the Jungle Book at the bottom. And I am going to put that right down here because the movie comes out and so I want to make sure that I'm giving it its due and it's showing that the Jungle Book comes out today. I'm even going to put, I think I want to use this little half circle right here, right at the top of the box because there's not like a, a movie night like icon or anything so I'm gonna put that little flag there and then and I'm not seeing I don't think I have like a movie night icon in this kit I don't so I'm gonna put that there to like kind of symbolize the movie and like going to the movie and then I'm going to take this I actually kind of really like these sort of flag boxes I'm going to take this flag box and I'm actually going to use it right here on Saturday. No really rhyme or reason as to why, just because I think it looks nice there. Now I'm going to take my checklist flags. So I'm going to give my to-dos up here the heart checklist flags. And the nice thing is that they're all different patterns, so I don't have to worry about alternating and the color scheme just kind of all goes together. So I can just sort of, you know, use them in any order. I don't have to alternate to like match colors. So I'm going to go ahead and lay these down and I'll be right back. Okay, so there are my to-do checklists. So for my little things over here, I'm going to actually insert some half boxes because my little things is sort of where I keep track of um, my personal stuff. I know I said earlier that like my today was going to be my personal stuff, but my todays are actually going to be like my blogging and podcasting things. So I'm going to you know what? I'm going to take this off. These aren't technically removable, so you just have to be like really, really careful. So I'm going to very slowly peel this guy off here because I'm going to put some of the decorative full boxes underneath these. So let's see, we have that one there. So I'm going to go with probably this green one right here. So put that one down there and then um, I'm going to put the brown sort of snaky half box on top of it there. 
And then I'm actually gonna use some of the mini heart checklists here. So I'm gonna use this one right here, just in case I have some other things that I want to highlight. And we'll put it on top of this box. I'm gonna leave the little flag part up because I need to put a today header down there. As you can tell, like I wasn't exactly sure what I was gonna do. So I'm a little all over the place. And I seem to have lost my today sheet or my header sheet. Don't know where it went. So, okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing with the full box over here. I'm gonna pick one that I think will go probably need like a solid or a closer to solid brown one. So I'm going to get this one right here. And go ahead and get this guy down. Not sure what I'm going to do with that spot as of yet. Where did that go? Sorry guys, I'm really confused. I don't know what I did with that sheet. And I want to use it to put in the headers that I need to put in. Oh, there we go. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to put um, today headers right there. So I'm going to slide this guy in underneath the tails of the flag. Probably lift that up. And get that down right there. Okay. Again, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do right here. Um... But I am going to put a half box on top of that one. So I have this cool green one right here to use. So I'm going to alternate it up a little bit. And maybe, maybe I'll actually use one of the Today headers. Because I'm pretty much done with the Today headers. I don't think I need them anymore. And so just so that I can get that green, I'm going to use one of the Today headers and I'm gonna put it down here, but I'm actually gonna cover up the words with this half box. And then I'm gonna get one of the mini heart checklists, probably this kind of, maybe this, these dots, why well, I use the dots above it, so maybe not, maybe this green one. I know it kind of matches what's right next to it. But that's okay. And then just put that here for little things. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the little things headers down here. All right. So let's go ahead and use some of these checklists. I typically like to use the flags, but since I have these to use, I'm going to go ahead and use them as well. So for the today's, I'm actually going to kind of alternate. I'm going to go like this. So I'm just going to pick some that I think kind of go well with everything else that I've used. So I'm going to lay these down really quick. All right. And then I am going to do the same thing I did for little things here. I'm going to put some full boxes down here. So I'm just going to kind of grab some stuff I haven't really used yet. Because um, for my todays, I do really need like the good solid checklist stuff. So um, I need this guy. And then for this today, I'm going to go ahead and use another flag. So I'm going to use this one right here. And we've got to take care of this. This is going to need a flag just because of the alternating patterns. So it's going to get this solid brown flag. All right, so that's my week, my Monday through Friday. So now I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with Saturday and Sunday. I think I'm going to go ahead and give myself a little things header for Saturday and a little things header for Sunday because I definitely 
need to make sure I'm keeping up with some of my personal things. And I'm going to, I really like doing this for little things. So I'm going to grab some of these and put these down here. My full boxes. And I really like that dot one. But I kind of have the dot one on that day. So, and I want something different than like squiggly lines. So I'll use this one. Okay, and so then I'm gonna use some more half boxes. So I'm just gonna kinda like mix them up. I'm gonna put a half box here. And then I'm gonna put this half box up here. And then I'm gonna use some of these skinny appointment labels. Instead of the flag heart checklist, I'm going to use two of these appointment labels on each one. And I'm actually going to place this one a little bit, well, maybe not. Yeah, I'm going to place it a little bit lower to cover up this purple right there. Probably should have done something like that there, but I didn't. So on this one for Saturday, usually I try to get um, a to-do list done. So I'll go ahead and put a to-do header on there. And then we'll use one of the full boxes here. Um, probably, probably this one. Gonna scoop that over a little bit. All right, I'm gonna use these last two full boxes and I'm going to put them in here. We'll put the dots up here since we have that flag down there that's dots. And then this guy. I'm actually going to line up at the bottom. And then I'm going to take this. I actually have a sheet of dots, like a little strip here that will sort of match that full box to kind of cover up that purple. And then we need something to cover up the purple there, so this doesn't exactly match, but, um, and maybe I should try to lift these up here just a little bit. You lift this guy up. I'm going to lay this down here, cover up the purple, and then we'll put the checklist box back down on top of that. There you go. Get rid of the purple. Now we need our weekend banner. So we'll take this one right here off of the weekly sampler and line it up here. Go across like that. And then, let's see. So we've got our deco over here. So I actually have some of the checklist boxes and I need to do something with the sidebar. So I'm actually gonna put these over here. So I'm gonna do that really quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, so there's that sidebar that I've got going on there. Um, I'm gonna take some of the these two flags that I have here and I'm gonna use one of them to cover up probably the solid brown one because it kind of matches this right there. And to cover up the purple flag at the top and I'm going to take this one right here and I think maybe not I might use some some uh, deco there just to cover up that little bit of space 
I don't really mind it, but you know, just for fun. So I think that's about it as far as this goes. Um, I do have, you know, I have a bunch of flags and stuff left. So I think I'm going to take one of these flags here and I'm going to put it down on Sunday because I need to mark when I'm going to do my next plan. Um, I usually do them on Sunday, but I'm doing this one early. So put a flag there and then I have some of these icons. I'm not really sure what I'm going to use them all for yet because I don't know exactly what's going on in the week. So I'm going to hang on to those and I know I'll use them at some point. I have a little heart right here and I'm going to put the heart on top of the Jungle Book for the movie coming out because I'm really excited about it. So now I'm just going to put down some deco. So um, I'll speed up through that and you can just watch me kind of do that. further with deco I realized that I forgot to put in my checklist and my uh, half boxes here so I'm going to go ahead and take some of those and I'm gonna get them layered here uh, so I'm gonna do a half box at the bottom on this side and I'm gonna do a full box at the or a half box I'm sorry at the top on this side just kind of alternating and then get some of my mini checklists here and sort of, you know, give myself a little bit of extra space to put some to-dos, just like I did on the other side. That one came down a little bit crooked. That's okay. I might go back and fix it later. Maybe not. Okay, so there are those just to kind of like you know, echo what I did with little things there. And I did these on the weekend a little bit different. So that's about where I'm at. Um, I used all of the full boxes. I used all of the uh, full box checklist. I used most of my half boxes, most of my headers, all of my appointment labels. I used a good bit from the weekly sampler. So I still have a few things left here and there. I used all the washi, a bunch of my checklist. I have another weekend banner and I have a bunch of flags. So I'll probably try and find a way to incorporate some of that stuff as I figure out exactly what I'm doing this week. And then I have quite a bit of deco left. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle it throughout after I get some of my writing done and some of my stuff in there. But as of right now, that is what we're looking at for our Jungle Book week for the week of April 11th to the 15th, and the movie comes out this day. So I'm gonna be doing some writing here. So I'm really excited about that. So let me know what you think down in the comments. I'll leave links to the shop that I used. And if y'all have any questions, just let me know. And if you have anything you'd like to see me do in my planning videos, also let me know in the comments below this video. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. So I finished recording and I forgot to do some stuff. So I'm back. I needed to add in some of these extra things I said I was gonna use. So I need to use my countdown stickers because we are counting down for our Disney trip. So I need to double check with where I left off. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these in here. I've been putting these right here at the top, just counting down the days until Disney. We are going to be in the 50s this week we hit our 60 day mark in the previous week which is a big week if you guys go to Disney because you can make your fast pass plus reservations and stuff like that we're huge Disney people we go or Disney vacation club members and stuff like that so we um, we're at Disney quite a bit. So there are my countdown stickers, so that's done. I also need to put down my litter box changing sticker. I think I'm gonna go with an orange one to kind of match Shere Khan. Um, 
this is something that I usually try to do at the beginning of the week. So I'm going to put it over here in the little things on Monday and just put my little cat in there. And then let's say I need to put my celebrate stickers. So we actually have a few. So on the 13th is actually Scrabble Day. So I'm going to put that over the washi this time around. Um, maybe I won't. Actually, yes, I will. I'm going to put it over the washi here for Scrabble Day. And then obviously the 15th, um, which is also the Jungle Book comes out, is also Income Tax Day. So we'll put that over the washi here in the middle. And then on the 17th, which is Sunday, is that Appreciation Day. I love all the wacky holidays. I love those. Okay, so we've got all of those down there. And then I said I might use some of the stuff off of the sampler. I'm not sure if I'm going to, actually. Um, you know what? I'm going to use this rainbow. I'm going to use the rainbow right here because I'm just so excited for this movie. So, And rainbows make me happy, too. So I'm going to put that on there. And then I'm just going to save the rest for later. Um, actually, I'm going to give because I think it's funny. I'm gonna give Shere Khan, or uh, Shere Khan, I'm gonna give Ka, maybe not that one. I don't have a Ka in a good placement. Darn. Um, I'm gonna, I wanted to give Ka some flowers that she would be holding, but this Ka I put too far over to the side. I don't know if I can pull her up without damaging the sticker underneath or her. Um, be very careful. I don't know if I can do this. Oh my gosh, I think I got it. Oh my gosh, I got her. Okay, so I'm gonna put her right in the middle now. Uh, and she is a her. She's voiced by Scarlett Johansson in the movie. And then she's gonna be holding some flowers because I just think that's hilarious. Okay. So there is that. Um, I'm not going to put anything else in here. So from the sampler, I'm just going to hang on to that. So, okay, now I'm done. So there we go. All right, guys, bye.